It is 537 and today marks one year, one year since we lost America's pastor and Charlotte's favorite son, Reverend Billy Graham. His crusades reaching millions over the years. More than 2,000 guests attended that funeral, including President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump. NBC Charlotte's Ariel Placencia joins us now live this morning. Ariel, you, you were there in attendance as well, covering that funeral. Hard to believe it was a year ago. That's right, Ben, and I was at that funeral. It was truly an honor to be there. And as you mentioned, can't believe it's been one year. News spread pretty quickly from up in Montreat down here to Charlotte that Reverend Billy Graham had passed away exactly one year ago today. And many people remembering exactly where they were when they got the news that the 99-year-old had died. February 21st, 2018, 7.46 a.m. News from Montreat, North Carolina spread that Reverend Billy Graham had passed away. His death setting off a week of events in his honor. His son, Reverend Franklin Graham, remembering that busy time period in an exclusive interview with NBC Charlotte. I think when my father uh, passed away, there was so much activity that we, for me personally, I really didn't have a chance to mourn. It was not really till the summer that I began to really ref reflect on what it meant to lose my father. Reverend Billy Graham was the first religious leader to lie in honor inside the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. The 99-year-old choosing Charlotte as his final resting place. And one year later, his son Franklin saying the family has big plans ahead for his father's home in Montreat. We're going to keep the house. We're going to make that into a, um, a, a small conference center so that churches, uh, maybe a, a board of elders want to go up there and pray and uh, spend the afternoon just reading the scripture and studying and having time together as a church uh, group. And we'll, of course, let you know when that Montreat home makes its transformation into the conference center. But Ben and Carolyn, as I send it back to you in the studio, again, just hard to believe it's been one year since he died. Back to you guys. Oh, wow. All right, Errol, thank you.